here, we see it says WebSocket is not ideal for real time audio and video over long distances or slower networks. LiveKit bridges this gap by converting the transport to WebRTC and routing data through our global edge network to minimize transmission latency. With the agent's framework, user audio is first submitted to LiveKit's edge network via WebRTC and routed to your back end over low latency connections. The agent then uses the agent's framework integration to relay audio to OpenAI's model via the WebSocket. Similarly, speech from OpenAI is streamed back through the WebSocket to the agent and relayed to the user via WebRTC. So here we see that the agent's framework has everything that we need to build conversational applications using OpenAI's real-time API. They've got a Node.js instance and they have SDKs for virtually every single platform. Now here they're covering inbound and outbound calling using SIP trunks. They're also covering WebRTC transport via LiveKit Cloud or self-host OO, sorry, self-host OSS, workload balancing and request distribution. Here it mentions the agent lifecycle. Now here are some concepts that we'll have to understand. The LiveKit agents framework using, uses the following concepts. Room, a real-time session with the participants. The room acts as a bridge between your end user and your agent. Each room has a name and is identified by a unique ID. Next, we have participant. A user or process, example is an agent, participating in a room. Agent, a programmable AI participant in a room. Track, we have audio, video, text, or data published by an agent or user and subscribed to by other participants in the room. Multimodal agent. The framework includes the multimodal agent class for building speech to speech agents that use the OpenAI real-time API. To learn more about the differences between speech to speech and voice pipeline agents, see voice agents comparison.